Welcome along guys. Well today I am once again at Cadwell Park. I can't seem to get away from the place but today it's all about Suzuki's. I'm here on my K8 GSX-R. There it is. So we're going to take it on track. It is Suzuki Live. So today we've got all sorts of Suzuki's here. You can hear in the background there classic two-strokes, RGVs, loads of two-strokes, loads of the latest stuff, all the latest Suzuki range as well. It's going to be absolutely fantastic and I may even get the opportunity to wobble around on something a bit special. We will see, no promises. I'm in the advanced group and I'm on the road bike, no warmers, so uh, it's going to be a good day. So stick around, stay tuned and I'll see you after the intro. Look at these. Look at that, oh, dream bike. Skull Bandit as well. Are they going out on track then today or not? Or just for show? Uh, that one will be out, the Skull Bandit will be out. Me riding it? Hmm. So we've got some classic, uh, I think, Barachine bikes here. A lot of these are Barachine bikes, and there's some parade laps with these. RG500, again, I think all Barachine stuff. Uh, Chris Harris, I think these last two are Barachine's bikes. Proper GP 500s, incredible. Yeah, Barachine's XR1400, 1976. Machine has ridden to wins in the GPs in France, Austria, Italy, Sweden. Number seven, Barachin. So just done uh, session one and uh, I forgot to let the air out of the tyres so I had road pressures. I did about three flying laps after the sighting laps. It's so much harder work on a sports bike than it was on the, uh, the Supermoto and the Naked and there's Super Duty the other week. It's hard work on a sports bike. Two flying laps and I was naked. So unfit. But um, yeah, I forgot to let the air out of the tyres so I thought shit, I better come in and let some out. Obviously no electronics on my K8 so I didn't want to high side or anything so I thought I'll come in let's air out the tyres catch for breath and then go out and hit it on the next session got the Dunlop Sportsmark TTs which I've been itching to test on track I'm absolutely loving these as sort of a fast road road tyre but um, on track I think they're going to be good so I've dropped it down I spoke to Dave at Dunlop and he said go to do, do five laps which is about what I did and drop them down to 27 psi in the rear which I've done and then uh, 29 in the front. So we're down to 29 pairs on the front. So I'm gonna go out again. I know I've got my tires all sorted. New brake calipers fitted. Brakes are beautiful out there. It's got the new RCS master cylinder. So much feel, absolutely fantastic brakes. And I must thank this man here, Tim. Tim, you're gonna get a shout out for your, sold me the calipers for an amazing price. So cheers, Tim, really appreciate it, mate. We've also got this fella, Dan's, uh, this is your second ever track day, Dan, isn't it? Yeah, second ever, second ever track day, mate. I'll do an easy one. 
you're yeah, do an easy one. <laughs> in the classic, you're going to have loads of two strokes and stuff out of you. Because you're in like the, because oh, I think it's so like you're in the classic group, so you're going to oh, have. I'm not going to overtake someone. Wow, <laughs> you'll be all right. You give it the big one, you'll be all right. So Dan is out on this, so uh, yeah, go and check out his channel and you'll see how he got on today. Oh, it's got a large EV250. Oh, love these. Love these. I had the KR1 and the KR1S back in the day, as some of whom you know watched my uh, bike history video. But this is the, the Suzuki, the RGV was something I'd never ridden. I might be riding one soon on the channel. I might be doing a little test rider one, or I might have to try and get on one today as well. Oh, lovely that is. You go down now, Luke. Fast group. Yeah. Session two done, that was uh, quicker that time. Yeah, fantastic actually, <laughs> hard work. Three, three or four laps on it and I'm knackered. Honestly, it's really tough. Uh, so I thought I'd come in, do want to overdo it. I might see if I can jump on the new GSX-R. I might be able to get a go on the brand new one, um, which would be quite nice to go out and compare that to this one. So uh, here's mine. Let's see if I can get on the, uh, the new thousand. So I've had a little chat with James, the PR man. This afternoon I can take these out. GSXR 750 from the 80s. Apparently watch the brakes on this one. They're not oh that's what he means. Uh, and the uh, 1100 as well. Marginally better but this afternoon I've got to get a different wristband to take those out. So now I'm gonna take out this one. So after riding mine it'd be quite interesting to try the new GSXR. Let's jump on. Final call, red group open advance. Final call, red group open advance. Well, just done the uh, session on the new GSX-R. Quite interesting, just stepping off mine onto the new one. It's basically just a little bit better in every respect. Apart from the brakes, my brakes are probably better, but I've just upgraded them. But suspension feels plush, uh, throttle response feels actually a little bit crisper. Remember, mine's still got the cat on it. Power-wise, it didn't feel that much faster top end. Obviously, it's a little bit, but Everything just a little bit nicer. Actually ended up getting a little bit less tired on that one than mine, which is interesting. Uh, maybe it's just because I've warmed up a little bit more. So I will take mine out again, but um, yeah, it's very interesting to try the new one. 
incrementally better everywhere, but not by massive margins. And also it wasn't until I was halfway round that I remember Carl said the traction control's off and I couldn't remember how to turn it back on. So uh, I was a little bit tentative with no traction control. And actually coming out the last corner before the back straight, it stepped out a little bit. So I thought that'll do. Remember traction control's off. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's good for the mountain. Very similar to mine, my K8. It's obviously better, it's obviously better. And the suspension, I guess, is probably the biggest, uh, the biggest thing which feels better on it. But um, yeah, interesting. I'll have to try one on the road and compare it to mine. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> A few BSB uh, stars here, you've got coupes. Don't know who these chaps are. So if you know who these chaps are, let me know. The legend, which is John Reynolds is here. Lovely bloke. We've got Sylvain here as well. Christian Eden is here as well. We're trying to work out if this fella's in leathers or a wetsuit. I can't quite decide. So to continue my day of riding different generation GSX-Rs, I've been out on my K8, I've been out on the brand new 2022 model. I'm gonna go out on this now. This is the Bimoto K1 GSX-R, so the original 2001 bike. Uh, it be interesting to see how this compares to my K8, so eight years worth of development, and then of course the new brand new bike as well. But just the sheer size of this, the size of the tail unit. You, know, you could get a full day's riding lunch in there, it's so much bigger, this bike, than the, than the new bikes. And I, being a bigger guy, this could actually be a sports bike, which fits me. But let's have a quick black around the track. Oh, just got back, that's hard work. It's hard work out there today, it's hot as well. But that is amazing. I can't believe how nice that feels to ride. 
It's not got a slipper clutch. I noticed that straight away, knocking it down. I had the rear a bit of a snake a couple of times and that made me slow down and choose my gears a bit more correctly. Biggest thing I missed was no gear indicator. So I wasn't, it's quite tall geared. So I wasn't sure what gear I was in, like coming over the mountain and stuff. But um, honestly, not bad at all. It's, you know, incredible to think that bike is about 20, how old is that now? It's 2000, so 22 years old. 21 years old, yeah. It's, it doesn't feel like it's 22 years old. You know, it's, my bike is, the suspension's a bit nicer on mine. It's a bit smoother. It feels more raw, that engine, but you know, it's an older bike. The suspension probably do have a refresh as well. But um, yeah, still incredible. Really enjoyed that. My day of exciting, exciting Suzuki's continues. I'm now going to go out on the GSXR 1100. Take a look at this. This is a oh, 56. This is obviously not on an original plate. I don't know what year this is. Tell me what year were these out? 80, 88, I'm guessing 88, 89. Correct me in the comments. Right, I'm going to step aboard and take this for a few laps of Cadwell Park. I'm not sure what you saw of that because this was wanging around. <laughs> so may not have had any, any usable footage from riding the bike. But that's incredible. I mean, this was cutting edge in its day, but the bars are so high. It feels like the, yeah, the uh, Suzuki GT now. The bars are really high, really comfortable. The pegs are actually really high though. So you've got really high pegs and really high bars. Makes a really sort of awkward riding position on track. But, you know, it's, uh, it's not bad at all, that, you know. Why don't they make sports bikes today with nice, high, comfortable bars like that? They could, you know, rejuvenate the sports bike market with something more like this. Never mind chasing tents around a track. We want sports bikes for the road. So, as part of my day of hobnobbing <laughs> at the Suzuki Live event, we've got chatting to Mike. Now, Mike has got some beautiful bikes. Take a look at these. So we've got a couple of my dream machines here, RG500. So what's the, what's the history of this one, Mike? Uh, this one is what they'd call a hybrid. Okay. So it's got a GSX R1000 front end. What's that? Is that a K7, K8 front end? Yeah, it's a K8 like front, front end. Yeah, it looks, it looks yeah. funny though, because I've got my K8, it looks very familiar. So it's a complete K8 front end. Yeah. Uh, it's a bespoke uh, Metch Matek swing arm. Yeah. Uh, that allows you to get much fatter rubber on, yeah, which those only run a 120 section rear, a 110 section front. Yeah. And, you know, around the track, they wobble their way around, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the RG world, there'll be a group of people that want to keep them 100% standard yeah, and yeah. frown upon modifications. So yeah. I've got standard bikes, and but I want, I want to use them because yeah. I want to ride them. Yeah. Uh, and if you really want to put an RG uh, through its paces, you have to modify it because yeah. that 16 inch 110 section front tire is just awful. Yeah. Uh, the 120 section rear <laughs> well, tire. It's all very 80s, isn't it? That's, that's the trouble, isn't it? Well, so early 80s. These bikes, you have to set them up well before the bend and, yeah. and sweep around the bend. If you have to last minute break or correct mid corner, you're in big trouble. Yeah. They won't tolerate that. Yeah. Whereas if you're on a big modern bike with big modern rubber tire sections, yeah. they'll tolerate having their line adjusted and, and move a bit, yeah, but not, you'll not never lose. do that on these. Yeah. So if you actually want to ride an RG and enjoy the two stroke motor, then big wide section rubber tire, yeah. uh, decent swing arm, uh, decent brakes, you know, look at the tiny brakes yeah, on those. So it's, it's, they just two, two, two pot calipers. Uh, yes, yeah, so you've got the whole front end is from a K, K8 then, is it? Yeah. And then you've got the, some bespoke clocks. Uh, yeah, I've made those. Yeah, uh, nice. All my RGs 
a big board to 570cc. Okay. So the carbs have been bored out, the chamber uh, piston is all big bore. There's a lot of tuning gone on yeah. with the internals of the engine. And then on the gearbox, this one is running a Nova dry clutch. Yeah, it's got a Nova gearbox, a lightweight generator on it, uh, and then a dry clutch on the other side, which... Oh, you've got dry clutch as well, so you've got yeah, that lovely... The RGs suffer terribly with dragging clutches, okay. and then when you get them warm, slipping clutches. Right, okay. So on a standard bike, which that is, yeah. it's either dragging or slipping. And, One of the and, two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whereas the Nova setup just completely gets rid of that. Yeah. Um, the Suzuki gearbox was always a bit um, notchy, yeah. whereas the Nova gearbox is just oh. flies through gears like a modern day bike. So when you modify them to this standard, you can then go and have some fun. Yeah. You know, if you're out on the track like today and you've seen the big bikes go <laughs> yeah, around, yeah. they're leaning over, knees sliding along the floor, you, you just can't, can't do that on that. that yeah. uh, whereas this gets closer to being able to do that. The exciting news is I'm going to come up to visit Mike and he's going to let me have a go on the Skull Bandit RG out on the road. So that is uh, amazing. Right? Well, I'll come That's, out on the Pepsi. You come out on the Pepsi, I'll come on the Skull Bandit. We'll have a little bit of a tour, show me some roads and uh, a bit of day of two-stroke fun. Get a bit smelly. <laughs> really fantastic. So that'll be coming uh, probably, I don't know, we're, we're sort out of date, but that will definitely be coming because an RG500 is one of my dream bikes. Thank you, Mike. Well, it's about um, five o'clock now. Everyone's packing up. I've had a brilliant day, absolutely fantastic day. I can't believe how many cool bikes I've ridden. I can't wait to go out with Mike and ride his RG500. Oh, dream bike time. It's worth coming just to meet Mike, to be perfectly honest. Um, the, my GSXR has been fantastic. That front end is fully sorted. I've loved riding the K1, the new bike. Cadwell Park is just an amazing circuit. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you have. Uh, I've been, certainly enjoyed recording this one. And uh, I'm actually back here again tomorrow with Triumph to ride the new Speed RR around Cadwell. So I've got a bit of a jump start on everyone else from uh, <laughs> learning the circuit point of view. But thanks for watching as always. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. This is power level one which is full power. Look at these roads! Look at that one! I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to me. Never mind getting beard up. Give me this any day of the week. <laughs>